Hello, my name's Claire Greenhow. I'm a career development consultant for Anglia CV Solutions, otherwise known as a professional CV writer. But that's not all I do, I write LinkedIn profiles too. And today I'm going to share with you some quick tips. And today's tip is how to upload a CV or resume to your LinkedIn profile. Now, you may be wondering why you'd actually want to bother uploading a CV or resume to your LinkedIn profile because it is in effect an online CV. Well, there is method behind the madness and uh, it's a two minute job, so why not? Um, but also because recruiters, when they come across your profile, they like what they see, they want the information, they want to be able to contact their clients, um, make it easy for them, anything that makes their life easier, they're gonna really appreciate it. So make sure your CV or resume is on hand, easily downloadable, um, and you're gonna improve your chances of being contacted. Now, there's two ways of uploading your CV to your LinkedIn profile, both of which are very, very easy, really rather quick, and for the sake of five minutes, you'd be uh, foolish not to do it. So um, I'm hoping once this video is finished, you run straight along to your LinkedIn profile and upload your CV or resume. Okay, the first way is quite easy. It's um, using the LinkedIn's new Add Media function. Now, I don't know if you've come across this before. It is fairly new and not all profiles have had it installed for that long, so you may not have actually seen it. It's a very whizzy bit of kit. It's very easy to use. You can upload media to your summary, your employment or education sections. Um, I'd always recommend you upload your CV to your uh, summary section. Now, if you've got your LinkedIn profile set up correctly, your summary section should be somewhere near the top. So it's gonna make it nice and easy for recruiters and potential employers to find your CV or resume. Okay, what you need to do is look for a little box with a cross in the corner. That is your add media box. Now you can add a Word document, a PDF document. Um, you could also upload other things to your profile as well that then help to enhance it. Um, videos, projects, links to a portfolio perhaps, or anything else of interest that's really going to help to uh, boost your LinkedIn profile. Um, as I said, that's really straightforward, quick and easy, takes two minutes, job done. The other way is a little bit more long-winded, but again, it's still quite quick and it's worth doing if you can't find the Add Media button. Um, basically, you need to log into your LinkedIn profile and go to Edit Profile. Scroll down to the Summary section and uh, select the media box that's there and enter the uh, web link or upload a file. It depends whether your CV or resume is you know, on a, on a website already or whether it's still on your computer. For most of us it's going to be on our computer so we're going to select um, upload a file. Okay, so then on your computer you locate the file, you locate where your CV or resume is saved. Um, make sure your CV is saved with a really strong file name. Now don't just name your CV CV. If you can imagine a recruitment agency or employer that's perhaps got three, four, five thousand CVs or more on their database and everybody called their CV CV, then finding yours is never going to be easy. So what I would always recommend is typing out your full name. So first name, surname, CV, and you could also use the year as well um, because I know we often update CVs and you don't want to get them all in a muddle when you come to upload them and upload the wrong one. So yeah, upload your CV and you basically click open and that will then bring up a box that you need to complete and this is where you have to put in the title. Um, as I mentioned just a moment ago, make sure you put in your full name and a CV or resume, whichever you're uploading. Um, so it makes it easier to find and uh, for people to download. There's also a description box there as well that you could make use of, um, you know, use some promotional words, you know, really encourage people to open or download your CV or resume. It's uh, well worth doing. And then when you've completed that, click save and your CV or resume should now be on your LinkedIn profile. Um, obviously make sure that it is actually there and it has uploaded properly and it's not gone a bit squiffy or you know it looks funny um, you know go back into profile view profile um, as somebody else 
um, rather than in edit mode and just you know click the link make sure it's working make sure the file downloads correctly um, and obviously if it doesn't doesn't then repeat the steps to make sure it does the last thing you want to do is uh, annoy somebody um, by having your information there and they can't actually read it or get hold of it so um, yeah just double check it's always worth it, it takes a couple of seconds and uh, yeah worth it in the end um, so that's really it. That's how you upload your CV or resume to your LinkedIn profile. If you get stuck, if you have any questions or you need some more help with this, please don't hesitate to either email me on inquiries at angliacvsolutions.co.uk, tweet me on Twitter, it's at ProCVWriter, or Anglia CV Solutions is also on Facebook too. So lots of ways you can get hold of us. Um, we've got a live chat on our website as well. So again, another option um, there. We're always around. So uh, if you've got any questions or queries, you know, give us a give us a bell, drop us a line, and we'll answer those for you. But uh, good luck. Upload your CV, and uh, let's hope you get interviewed soon. Bye bye.